That should be, you should be bouncing on the car. Okay, that's it. They got a red and white Firebird convertible. Boom! Dang! That thing's, that thing's cool, man. I think it's pink, Jeremy. Cool. There's a cinder block on the gas pedal. I mean, that's one way to do it. Yeah, just peel the skin off. All right, we got a little problem here. It's raining and wet. Tow truck's getting stuck. Uh, we pulled a vehicle out of the river and we wanted to report it to you guys. You pulled a vehicle out of the river? Yes. If you guys want to see how we got this firebird out of the water, stick around. This is one episode you are not going to want to miss. Woo! I'm Adam Brown. And I'm Jeremy, AKA Nug. We search the rivers and lakes across America for wrecked vehicles underwater. You wouldn't know it by just looking, but there's thousands out there and everyone tells a story. Insurance fraud, stolen, accidents. It's our mission to search for the missing, find vehicles, and remove them from harming our environment. This is Wrecked and Recovered. Back in Alabama, Huntsville, again, we were not planning on coming back so soon, were we? No, I did a solo scouting mission because I was just, it just, we, we was searching for Christopher St. Joseph. We've been there a, a pile of times looking everywhere. Yeah. And we found a pile of cars, none are his. Go just, oh. <laughs> what was that? That's that Ford suspension. Holy <laughs> smokes, like a skateboard. Man, I was trying to be serious. <laughs> Anyways, yeah. Anyway, oh my goodness. Well, we, we've been searching for Christopher St. Joseph for a while, checking every body of water. Yep. And I wanted to recheck the river. So I went by myself, want to retrace our steps, check all the spots and look for some new spots. In my journey, I found three cars and two of them were right upstream from the last vehicles we pulled from that spot. Didn't even know that there was a place you could turn off and pull cars out yeah. or dump cars. So we have two cars, one's upside down and one's a pickup truck that's on its wheels. The upside down card car is a wild card. It might be our guy, our missing person. Yeah. Chances are it's not, but we're gonna find out. And if it's not our missing person, we're pulling that baby out today. But well, we, we have to dive on that first. We don't know. Usually we dive on these cars we pull out before. Yeah, this is so. these are gonna be mystery cars. So we're gonna dive on them, make sure, you know, they're not linked to anybody. Yeah. And then, you know, we'll pull them out ourselves and, and go from there. If they are linked to somebody, well, this video might take a drastic turn. This is going to take a lot of big turn, but let's get out here and uh, check it out. Maybe what you say. Oh yeah, let's do it. Woo! Ah! Yeah. Another day. Another day. Back, Another day. Back at our favorite boat ramp. Man, so, everything was great like five minutes ago, and then that sun came out and reminded me how hot it's going to be. It was cool this morning, then it started raining, and now it's... It was a nice night. I slept good, because I got beat up on the last video. If you guys haven't seen that, you definitely want to check that out. We found an old uh, Chevy Impala, right? It was an early 70s Chevy Impala station wagon. I think it was pretty cool, man. It was neat. It was like the Vista Cruiser on the 70s show. You know, it was pretty neat. But, <laughs> yeah, but today, we, uh, there's actually a couple what, a couple of vehicles you found. Yeah, we got two cars. I found, uh, I, I came here and did a little recon on myself, on my, by myself. Found a couple more upstream we never even thought of looking. Got a pickup truck and a car that's upside down. Car's a mystery car. Yeah. Could be a missing person, it's probably stolen. We don't even know. We got some, uh, we, we actually, we were planning on going down the road, but there was a gate, apparently we talked to a local, and he said that the gate got stolen because it was a homeless camp and a whole bunch of mess, so. Yeah. So, I mean, it's possible. Dude, the guy we're look, we was looking for on our other channel, he's, yeah. he was, it's not missing that long, I think a couple years. So that gate very well could have been gone this whole time. There's cars there, so some, somebody's getting in. I don't bet they're not dumped yesterday. So we, we may uh, we may pull it out there. We may float it. I'm about to go dive on this thing now. We're gonna check it out because we don't even we haven't even. We don't even yet. know. We don't so, even know. So uh, let's get out of here. See what we got. Mm. Well, there's definitely a little bit of a current. It looks like today, man. Ah, uh, a little bit. I think it'll be all right. The visibility looks about it like last time, not horrible. We got a couple options. We have we have a spot up there, we might be able to just pull the car straight out. Yeah. Or we have to float the car and bring it down here. But I don't think it's that big a deal. We could just steer it and run it aground like somewhere here. Yeah. If it actually is like, oh man, we don't have time. But if we realize the current's barely moving when it floats, then we'll just bring it up here, throw a rope, pulling it in, all that stuff. 
Yeah, well, we're all cooling back right here. So, like, if we can get in this general area, it's not going to go anywhere. I mean, yeah, when the current's ripping, it kind of looks like it's about the first. The first time I was out here, man, it was hard to hold on to the rope to get down to the car. Yeah, you got to you got to drop rough. fast, <laughs> and uh, not fun. But uh, we'll get up there and check it out. I mean, we don't know yet until we get up there. So, let's put the boat in, man. All right, so we just got up here to the spot. Um, right over here, you can see this opening right there. There was a gate, I guess, put up at some time, and then that gate got stolen or was taken down. I mean, 18, there was a gate, but I don't know. Yeah. It's, it's been down long enough for somebody but done two cars here. This, uh, we were gonna, we were planning on floating it down because we didn't think we could access this, but it's literally, we could pull straight in. So that's, I guess we're gonna regroup. It's right like, there, that's the car. So we just went over the car. I mean, it's, it's right a little the bit over on the left. So you can see it on the screen, but yeah, that's that's definitely a car, right? Yeah. Where's the truck at? Yeah, it's right there. Is that the car? I don't know. You tell me. Now it kind of doesn't look like a truck. A Looks like an old, maybe if it's a four door, or whatever it is. It's got a high cab though, because it was cast in a truck-like shadow. But it's got a front, a long, it might be like a four-door Super Duty truck. I think that's, no, that's a truck bed, that's a truck bed. Wait for it. We're getting there, we're getting there. Uh, of course it's pouring. Why are you making it rain? All right, get ready. We're like right, we're right. Keep going, bobbing away, Bob. I think we're right Pull next it up. to it down that should be you should be bouncing on the car okay that's it it's not sticking really well you're all directly right. on it all right that's better all right. back up let me just tie it on over there i think well, why not god dang dude why don't you tie the buoy on it for now okay then we can hide out underneath this thing until this rain passes the car marked it is pouring it is raining yeah another storm rolled in this is getting man i hate doing this. There is a very real chance that this possibly could be the missing person we've been looking for um, on our other channels. If that's the case, I don't know how this episode is going to go. I mean, that's the reality of it. We like to be goofy and fun, you know, removing trash, but there is always a possibility that this could be that missing person. Let's get changed, get wet, sure than we already are. So, bro, this doesn't look like the place where we parked. <laughs> no. No, apparently there's a, this is a very convenient little dump site, and there's the car right now. So this one should take like 30 minutes. What's that? that needs. Well, once we... right there, you just ruined it. For us. <laughs> we're gonna be here for nine hours now because that's nothing, never happened before. No, break cables, everything. Okay, go to but hell now. this is hard to deny. There's this sand straight upside down car right off the boat ramp. Yeah, I think this car is gonna be super easy to get out. Honestly, and um, uh, the truck. The truck's another story. another episode. Another day. On we'll that see one. about that one. It's farther down. Yeah, it's way down. But, but we we'll have to. We'll use all of our cunning on that one. Yeah. Mm. You got a lot of cunning, don't you? I am very cunning. <laughs> Sexy montage. Sexy montage. Go go. Oh no. Oh. That just ruined everything. Oh. Guess who's diving? <laughs> I feel like I need like a reverse Uno card. So sexy montage to Jeremy now. Yeah, you can like you can slap up a big old fail right on the screen right now, as you just destroyed your dry suit. Oh. So now it's, it's fixable. It, well, yeah, but not now. No, not now. <laughs> I actually wanted to dive this one. I'm, kind of, I'm a little upset. You're not. Like, oh, did that on purpose. See his nails as he was pulling it on? <laughs> I'm ripping this baby open. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Woo! I felt uncomfortable as heck. Man, I'm so excited. See, that's the worst part. Just getting it all on. I think I'm gonna simply start diving in a speedo. 
<laughs> that, that might make people watch more. They might. <laughs> How about I pay you not to do that? How much are we talking? Because you can't stop an <laughs> inevitability. Gotta boat out in the water. Gonna dive this thing real quick, see what it is. The conditions are pretty uh, favorable now. The, the rain is kind of off and on, which sucks, but. And we do have uh, this OTS comms, which allows us to actually talk to Jeremy up there through the remote. So it really improves safety and allows us to communicate back and forth. So, uh, you know, OTS, shout out, they are great products. That's also the same face masks we use. So um, if you're a diver, I definitely recommend using OTS gear. Copy that. I think he said it's a red convertible Firebird, and it's so it's not it's not the missing person, but it's gonna be a cool car once we get this thing out. Can you hear me? I can hear you. Yeah. You said a Firebird convertible. It's a red and white Firebird convertible. No tag. Okay. Well, do you want to go ahead and hook a line onto it? Use that orange line? Or do you think the 100 feet, do you think the tow truck could just reach it from there? Probably not. <laughs> we, we could do the uh, the green one maybe, and then the tow line to the green one so it's shorter. Oh, you already got one on there. Yeah. All right, yeah, so if we do that, then that should reach the surface, and then the tow line to that should be good. All right, let's take you back over there. Get this Firebird out, what do you say? Pretty cool. <laughs> I guess we'll tie this yellow, uh, this rope to that, and then. I thought you were in the bridge. Yeah, but how do I get there? Well, yeah, it doesn't matter. All right. Uh, that was fun. All right. So, got ourselves a Firebird, huh? Yep. God. <laughs> and the rain's coming down. That's good luck, right? That's what I hear. I don't know. I mean, I'm good. Yeah. Well, so I don't care. If this goes off, it'll just... let me see the car. You gonna illustrate it's what we're so gonna do? It's so close because the car we're pulling is actually red and white. Is it striped like that? It's the, it's dead. It's, it's on oh, the side. Sideways striped. Yeah, but it's upside. Well, it's convertible. I don't know. It's Why ask those questions? Is it? Oh yeah. God, you're confusing me. But it's like, it's like that. It's like that. Okay. And I got it hooked on that. So we're gonna hook. Okay. So it's facing that way too. Yeah. What, are you gonna try to spin it? It's just gonna drag up. Okay. I'll just drag up to here, and then I'll get out there and we'll we'll flip it. We'll and, flip uh, this schniz. There's nothing really. No. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> See what I have to deal with here. There's not many obstacles as I was saying in the way. It's just sand and dirt, so it should slide right up. Um, can't really get probably more damage than it already is, right? Right. I don't think that's true, but. <laughs> here we go. Here. <laughs> sorry. Anyways, this should be uh, might be our quickest recovery yet. I'm gonna say that I know that usually just like that jinxes us, but just like that, dude, it's right there. Nine man. more hours. Take your car. Take your toy. All right, let's drag this line out and uh, see if it reaches. It's not. 
How are we getting that out there? We're just gonna pull it all out and just yeah. Okay. I'll pull it out while you go while you you know back out on the boat. I can do that by myself. You go tearing <coughs> shit up again. Oh, we do have that synthetic rope right in front of you. Might be able to use that. Right behind you, there's that loop. We can hook it on that. Yeah. Yes, just hook the other side to the D-ring right here on the bottom of the... Uh... Yeah, there's a D-ring on the bottom of this buoy that's on the strap. So what we got here now is got a hundred foot of rope that we had to use because the cable's about 10 feet shy. So he's probably only gonna get to pull it like 10 feet. He might be able to pull forward, get a little bit more out of it, then back, back up, I don't know. Be a slow start, quick finish. Story of my life. <laughs> You think that'll reach? No, we don't even need to start the boat. We'll just grab the rope and pull ourselves out there. Well, go ahead. Hmm, I don't like your face. <laughs> we're gonna go right over here, under this here rope. And then we're not even gonna use the power of the thrusters. We're just gonna pull ourselves out there with sheer willpower. I don't like your face. <laughs> this, is how the, this is how the pioneers used to do it. Across the whole damn river. You think that'll reach? No. We'll see. Well, I can pull the wait. I can pull the um. I don't like this idea. I can boom up. Might help. All right, this is going to be interesting. That boat's leaning. <laughs> Yeah, pull the other one in. Pull it in! Yeah, right, that's fun. I mean, by the hair on my butt. That's how close that was. So, uh, yeah, yeah. I think I was right. 100 foot, whatever. Whatever, bro. <laughs> Two for me, none for him. All right, ready to roll. Let's see what she does. She's moving like butter, man. She's moving like butter. Is it like butter? Or is it like when you first get it out of the fridge and it's all hard and annoying to spread? Sometimes butter ain't hard, man. You just gotta put it in the, it's, you know, it's like microwave, warm it up. I'll leave it out on the counter. That's cheating. <laughs> Woo! What's the problem? It's bobbing up. It's coming. That's what it is, it's coming. You just gotta accept it. If you're gonna die, you're gonna die. She's coming. Very little resistance. I wanna give me a firebird. Feels nice down here. Oh, we got bubbles. Man, we're so close. The buoy, I can see it. There she is. She's right there, man. Jeremy can touch it. What's the problem? It's getting a little tight. Let's try the boom technique. We could about put a snatch block on it. I don't know. It's getting a little tight. It's pretty tight. I don't want to break it, man. Just do a snatch block. Okay. The, uh... You want a zip line? Hold on to there and slide. Yeah, I'm not going to do that. Well, is, is it going to be too deep for you? Probably. <laughs> no, 
Right, so we're gonna use Danny's Jeep to hook his winch on the front of the tow truck because just to give it that little bit of a uh, extra weight. Because you know, our girl does good, but she uh it'd be nice to have a bigger tow truck, I'm not gonna lie. So usually, usually we have to hook something on the front. This is pretty convenient, so hopefully it'll do the trick. Let's try the snatch block in the Jeep. You ready? We got bubbles. Oh, she's coming. Is, it, is this one Swiss cheese? Yeah, when you lose the, uh, the magnet. I don't think it's Swiss cheese. Good, because you're making me hungry. Dang. <laughs> uh, you want to move the snatch block? Or you want to hook both up? We can hook them both up. Or you want to flip it? We got to flip it now. Grab it. You got it. Yeah. Put it on the back tire, turn it, and then put it on the two far tires and pull them both at the same time. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna reposition. We was pulling it by this wheel, but now we wanna flip it. So we're gonna start by pulling on that wheel and getting it sideways. And then we'll hook two J hooks, probably Y bridle on the other side to flip it over. And then we're home free. Yeah. Look at it move right before my very eyes. <laughs> Man, there's that catalytic converter just calling your name. <laughs> now, we'll switch it to the other side. I was telling me what to do. Man! All right, we got this car pulled out the river. We're about to, uh, Oh no! Oh no! Alright. <laughs> Dang, that ain't good. <laughs> that ain't good. The, the whole frame's about to come off. No. Hook it around in the window seal. Man, I'm glad we pulled from the front wheels. All right, we got this old Firebird pull out the river, about to flip her. See what she looks like. I think it's gonna be a red, he said it's red and a white stripe. Here she comes, y'all ready? <laughs> oh man, it's like opening up a Christmas present. There she comes. Oh. Boom. Dang. That thing's, that thing's cool, man. Look at that thing. Oh, oh, oh. oh God, I'm falling over. <laughs> Dude, it smells delicious. Doesn't it? It's a pretty little car. I mean, it was at one time. 80s model, maybe? Well, we're gonna find out. That's cool. All right, let's pull her out of the rest of the way, what do you say? Yeah, we'll try. The Pontiac Firebird was a classic American pony car, a sporty compact car with an exotic look and lots of power. Even though the Pontiac was discontinued in 2010, the late 80s could still fetch a high price with enthusiasts appreciating their unique blend of style and performance. All right, 
and get it from there? Actually, yeah, because that cable's still on this side. Bring this one out. That one. Tighten that one up. It's <laughs> trying to help you. Can you get that side now? Oh, is that what you're doing? Yeah, it's trying to get help you out. Man, we got us a Firebird. Oh yeah. I, th I think it's pink, Jeremy. Cool. <laughs> Man, it's so hot. I'm glad we have this uh, open window car, Jeremy. Man, we put, we, we, I, I, yeah. I feel so cool in this car. You know, the only thing that could make me feel cooler if I had some Rectum Recovered merch. Oh wait, I, mean, oh. I do. <laughs> If you guys want to get yourself from Wrecked and Recovered merch, make sure you go to the website, wreckedrecovered.com. Hook yourselves up, because when you hook yourselves up, you hook us up, and that funds these operations so we can pull these cars out of the river. Oh, yeah. Block on the gas pedal. Oh no shit. <laughs> so we got Hunter here with the Halligan tool. He's the tractor guy from before. He's gonna show us how to do this, so let's watch. That's a long door. Look how wide that thing is. So they did it back in the day. See, the door frame's still locked. <laughs> I mean, that's one way to do it. Yeah, just peel the skin off. Neat. I'm gonna make it messy. You better watch yourself. Just that one little thing. We had a saw, we just zip. Oh lord. Is there a vent in there? Huh? Is that the vent? GSI, tire pressure. It's got a number right here, but it's not the vent though. I bet the plate and the doors, if you get that door open, it's probably in there. Well, I don't see a VIN number here. The VIN is back and straight down. No! Oh, sorry. I didn't mean that. I like how you say, no! I was hoping it'd be right here, but I don't see nothing besides this. Right. Raining a little bit out here. I decided to take a swim. Look at all these guys up here. Hiding out. Not me. Is there a glove compartment? I know. Maybe there's not, I don't know. There was there was a center console but the door's missing and it was upside down, so
All right, we got a little problem here. It's raining and wet. Tow truck's getting stuck. I can't even drive out without the car. So uh, we're gonna get the Jeep here, run for its money again, see if I can just pull this up a little bit. You think I can drive it out? Well, that'll work. All right, we got her up. Lower, lower this stuff, lower this one. Keep that one up. Oh, my pants are so soaked. Oh. I know, me too. Okay. Give me a little bit. Hey, pull forward. Clear, you can see it's raining bad. Uh, we knew it was gonna stuck, but we had to get the boat out. We got tied to a tree up there. What could go wrong? Uh, we pulled a vehicle out of the river and we wanted to report it to you guys. You pulled a vehicle out of the river? Yes. So that means you're on the right hand side. Where are you going? Uh, What's happening? Got another one. Uh, Firebird? Oh yeah. Yep. Pretty cool, huh? Alright. Let's film that in the river? Yeah, yeah right, right off down this that. ramp. This road. Yeah, we pulled those other ones out too. I don't know if you heard about that. Uh -oh. That'd be like a few weeks ago. We pulled, yeah, we pulled like three, three out vehicles so far. This is the fourth. Okay. There's a pickup out there we want to get next. But this rain kind of messed it all up. What do y'all, what do we usually do with this? I don't know. Uh, usually you guys, yeah. like the last ones we pulled out, they, we had tags and numbers and stuff. We found out one was stolen, the other one was just abandoned. We couldn't This find... one's got no numbers on it. The vins are all rotted off. And there's a cinder block somewhere. Yeah. Putting... Yeah, yeah. So we're thinking deliberate. <laughs> but what they've been doing in the past is just call whoever's on rotation and have them call it off. Okay. Okay. I think it was roadside last yeah. time. Yeah, I think roadside, doesn't it? Alright. Well, I'll be right back. Okay. That's all y'all found. Well, yeah, like I said, there's yeah. another full-size pickup out there, but we haven't pulled it yet. There's no tag on that yeah. one either, so. No, there's no tag, but it'd be easy to get a VIN off that. It's not in bad shape. Is there any... So you said there's no numbers on it or anything? You, kind of, you need something to be able to give to the roadside. Um, I mean, there's a, I could, there's the white paper on the door, but I didn't see... I didn't see the VIN number. I think that's on, on the inside. It's supposed to be, right? Actually, it looks like they cut it out right here.
There's something right here. Man, it's still raining, but I held a yawn in. <laughs> we got the car out. This wasn't that bad, honestly. I mean, the only thing it sucked is this monsoon rolled in and yeah. uh, kind of slowed everything down. Now we're soaking wet and kind of cold, but this is a cool car, man. Somebody liked it. Pontiac. And there's a, there's a cinder block on the gas pedal. I'm saying this was put there deliberately. <laughs> I think I think so. Yep. I think so. So. Uh... Glad we could get another one out. This is the. I have lost count. We got three. 14 or 15, I think. This is the fourth one here in Huntsville. Fourth one here. <coughs> We're on 15. We're up there. We're in the teens. Something like that. We're in the teens. We haven't failed yet, but man, big old, old red. She's uh, she's been working hard, man. But oh yeah, she put it. She put the work in. I keep noticing more leaks and, and more things sounding weird. And we broke two cables uh, last video. This is an easy recovery. It's probably one of the easiest. Okay. <laughs> was that English? Yes. Okay. That was my English. Old English. But, uh, yeah, we're on to the next one. There's, there's another truck out here we want to try to get. Yeah. That might be the one to fail. Nah. We'll try to float it. If not, we'll, see. we'll leave it there. But yeah, you got to be subscribed, right? If they don't want to miss it. I mean... Yeah. That way you get that bell. And it rings. You got to hit that bell. Hit the bell, too. That, hit that the bell, bell notifies you every time. And the post. sub button and that membership button. So many buttons. Yeah, I don't know why. They, they need to have one button for everything. Well, I'm hungry. We going to go eat? Oh, yes. Get out of here, man. All right. See I don't, you on the next one. I need, I need an umbrella, though. Perfect. Now I'm out. Smell inside of this, Mitch. Nope, I smell it. Oh man! <laughs> man, that's a uh, that's, that's haunting right there. There's something alive in that. It's ripe, that's you're going, for sure. You're going shrooms in that thing? Probably. That's what happens to a leaky dry suit. It just ferments. <laughs> <laughs>